Hey guys. Okay, so the first video was all about your alignment and your breathing. So now that you know how to do your alignment, now you need to learn um, and you know how to breathe correctly with your diaphragm. Now you need to know how to connect everything together in here. Your diaphragm, your pelvic floor muscles, your transverse abdominals, and your multifidus muscles of the spine. Those are your four main muscle groups in here. That's your inner core muscles. Um, these need to be working together like gears, okay? If one is worked in isolation, then the other gears can't turn, okay? So what you need to do, I want you to lay back um, on your back, okay? And get the diaphragm breathing correct. So, oh, and when you lay down, what you have to do is um, make sure that you're not tucked. You want some space under your back. So how you do that is you make a diamond with your fingers and put your heel of your hands on your hip bones and these fingers on your pubic bone. And you rock back and forth, and you don't want your fingers up high, higher than your thumbs, and you don't want your thumbs up higher than your fingers. You want it to be um, flat and balanced, okay? So rock until you find that position, and it will feel like you're arched a little bit, but that's where you need to be. That allows your diaphragm to breathe better, okay? So as you're laying here, Go ahead and take a deep breath. Okay. Now, see if you can take a real deep breath. As you do, if, can you feel your pelvic floor kind of fall? A lot of people can't. That's okay. Okay. So now, what I want you to do is some Kegels. Okay. So I want you to... Pretend like you're doing a Kegel muscle squeeze, like you're, a lot of people say, cutting off the pee or um, something. But I want you to pretend like you're picking up a Kleenex, okay? So lift the pelvic floor muscle up and down and up and down. Really squeeze it in and release it, okay? So now I want you to do an elevator. So you go up one floor, higher, third floor, the highest. Now when you do that, stay right there. Can you feel your transverse, your abs engage right here? You should feel it tightening. If not, you need to practice on feeling that engagement, okay? So do it again. Let's, let's release it and one, two, three, I want you to feel it in your transverse abdominal, okay? It's lifted up, and this transverse abdominal is engaging, okay? So now I want you to try, without the pelvic floor, I want you to try to engage the TVA and do that by these hip bones right here, closing them like a book, okay? So try to close like a book and open and close them and open and close and see if you can engage that. Some people can't do that. So what I want you to do is breathe in and when you breathe out, I want you to make a sound like a snake. So, and, and engage here and see if you can feel that. Okay. And close the book covers. All right. Now let's work it all together. So I want you to remember blow before you go. I learned this from Julie Weeb, okay? So you breathe in and when you blow before you go, like this, I want you to lift the pelvic floor up and engage. Let the pelvic floor be the boss and then engage. So it's breathing with your diaphragm. Let the pelvic floor relax and fall and then Bring your pelvic floor in and engage your TVA. So 
those are the things you have to learn to do, especially when you're doing the breathing homework that I provide for you in the program. So, but even just doing this, you should feel an ab workout, okay? So, just keep practicing engaging all of those muscles. And as you do that, and you breathe with your diaphragm, and, and then you let everything out, and it's like you let the air out of the balloon and pull it all up and together. And when you're breathing with your diaphragm, all of those two are also working the multifidus muscles of your spine. So getting into a habit of this should also help you if you have back pain. Okay? All right. That's it for today. Bye.